This is the second section of chapter two, which is all about centers of mass of plane figures. And this section is how we can find the center of mass of, a par of particles arranged in the plane. So in these types of questions, we've got uh, something uh, like this, this type of arrangement where we've got masses, they're not in a straight line, they're in uh, a plane, in a 2D plane. And um, what we need to do with questions like this is we need to work out what x bar is, so the distance of the center of mass from the origin in the x direction, and also the distance of the center of mass in the y direction. So we're going to get two sets of calculations. So we need to calculate x bar in the way that we did before. So the sum of each mass times its uh, x distance from the origin divided by the sum of ma uh, the masses. We also need to calculate y bar so for each of the masses now we multiply each mass by its distance in the y direction from the center of mass divided by the sum of the masses so the only thing that changes here is y so we've got two sets of calculation to do that will give us a coordinate for the center of mass and that coordinate will be x bar, y bar. So two sets of calculations. Example three, find the coordinates of the center of mass of the following systems of particles. So we've got two kg mass at the coordinate one, two, a three kg mass at the coordinate three, one, and a five kg mass at the coordinate four, three. Now it's not necessary to, to draw a diagram, but I'm just gonna draw one to illustrate so you can see what's going on. So this is what it would look like. Uh, the important thing is doing the calculation. So X bar, so the sum of each mass times its distance uh, is X direction distance. Now we could have got those from the coordinates here. So that's why I don't really need a diagram. So the first mass two has an X distance of one from the origin plus the mass of three has a x distance of three from the origin and the mass of five has an x distance of four from the origin and we're going to divide that by the sum of the masses two plus three plus five so it gives me 31 over 10 so my x distance of the center of uh, center of mass is 3.1 so we now do the same in the y direction so we take our first mass which is 2 now that has a y distance of 2 from the origin plus the mass of 3 which has a y distance of 1 from the origin plus the mass of 5 which has a distance of 3 from the origin so again you can see you could get all of that from here. We don't need a diagram. So if I divide that just like I did for X bar by the sum of the masses, two plus three plus five, and that becomes 22 divided by 10, which is 2.2. So now I'm ready to write down the coordinate of the center of mass. And that's going to be the coordinate 3.1, that's x bar, comma, 2.2. That's it. Example four, find the coordinates of the center of mass of the following system of particles. Okay, so when I do this question, I'm not going to draw a diagram. I'm just going to do it purely from the working that's here. So let's start, first of all, with x bar. So that's going to be 4 times by negative 1. So we can have negatives in terms of distance from the origin. Plus 2 times by negative 2. So I'm doing each mass times by its basically its x-coordinate. Uh, plus 8 times by 4. Plus 6 times by 1. And divide that by the sum of the masses, which is going to be 4 plus 2 plus 8 plus six. So that'll give me 30 divided by 20, which is 1.5. So that's my value of X bar. I'll now do the same for Y bar. 
So this time, each mass multiplied by its distance in the y direction, or its y coordinate. So that gives me four times by three, plus two times by negative four, plus eight times by zero, plus six times by negative three, divided by the sum of the masses. So we know that's 20, I'll write it down. Four plus two plus eight plus six. So that will give us minus 14 divided by 20. And that's minus or negative 0 0.7. So we have our coordinate of the center of mass. So you can have distances, x distances or y distances of the center of mass, which are negative. Remember this is in a 2D plane. So, you know, it doesn't have to be on the positive side of the origin, it could be on the negative side. Uh, and that gives us a coordinate of 1.5 negative 0.7. Example five, a light rectangular plate ABCD has AB equal to 20 and AD equal to 50. Particles of masses two, three, five and five are attached to the plate at points ABCD respectively. Find the distance of the center of mass of the loaded plate from uh, these two sides here, AD first and then AB. So we'll start with a diagram. Now, here's my diagram. Uh, but notice on this question, we're not given an origin. Now, we need to choose our own origin, but it makes sense that since we're finding the distance from AD, which is basically going to be X bar, and the distance from AB, which is basically going to be Y bar, it makes sense to put A at the origin. Yeah? And then these distances basically are going to be what I add to A. So I'm choosing A as the origin point in this question, simply because I'm finding distances. Both of these are distances from A, aren't they? A, D direction over here and the A, B direction, which is over here. So we'll start with part A. And this distance of the center of mass distance of, I'll just call it COM from AD. So that's going to be a distance going across this way. That's X bar. So I'll take each one of these masses and uh, write down the mass at basically times by its X coordinate. So we'll start with the mass at A. So that's two, its X coordinate is zero. And then B, that's a mass of three and it's X coordinate since this is a distance of 20 here. So it's X coordinate is going to be 20 times by 20. And then uh, the mass at D, this one here, that's got an X coordinate of zero. So five times zero. And then the mass at C has an X coordinate, the same one as B, 20. So that's going to be five times by 20. And we divide that by the sum of the masses, which is 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5. So that gives us 160 divided by 15, which will be 32 over 3. So that's for part A. So for part B, what we want to do is to find the distance of the center of mass uh, from AB, okay, so the distance from this line, so that's going up this way. So that's basically working out Y bar. So now we multiply each of the masses by its Y coordinate. So starting with the mass at A, two times a Y coordinate of zero, then the mass at B, uh, three times a Y coordinate of zero, plus the mass at C, which is five times a Y coordinate of 50. So that's that, uh, this distance here. And then the last one plus D, which is uh, a mass of five and a distance of 50 again. So divided by the sum of the masses, two plus three plus five plus five, and give us 500 divided by uh, 15. And that becomes 100 over three. So there's our distance 
from AB. Now, since we've actually been given measurements in centimeters, we should write down the units that we have for our distances and actually put down the units there, which are centimeters. Example six, particles of masses 4 kg, 3 kg, 2 kg and 1 kg are placed at the points x, y, 3, 2, 1, minus 5 and 6, 0, respectively, given that the center of mass of the four particles is at the point 2.5 minus 2, find the values of x and y. So this is a slightly different question in that we know what the center of mass is. Uh, we're missing a coordinate. So we still do the same working, um, but we our unknown is going to be in a different place. So let's start with the uh, x bar part. So the center of mass in the x direction, which we know is 2.5. And the way that we would have found that is to multiply each ma uh, mass by its x coordinate. So 4 gets multiplied by x, the 3 we multiply by 3, the 2 mass we multiply by 1, and the 1 mass we multiply by 6, and we divide that by the sum of the masses, 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So that will give us uh, 2.5 is equal to 4x plus 17 divided by 10. And all we need to do is to rearrange this to solve it. So we'll times both sides by 10. So we'll get 4x plus 17 equals 25. We'll take away the 20 or 17 from both sides. So we'll get 4x is equal to 8. So from there, we'll get x is equal to Two. So we found the value of x. So we'll now do the same for the y bar part and do the same thing again. So we know the center of mass is minus two. And the way that we would have found the center of mass is to multiply each mass by its y coordinate. So we have 4y plus 3 times by 2 plus 2 times by minus 5 plus one times by zero and we divide that by four plus three plus two plus one so that's going to give us four y minus four uh, divided by ten and we know that's equal to minus two so times both sides by ten and we'll get four y minus four is equal to minus twenty we're going to add 4 to both sides, so we get 4, uh, y is equal to minus 16, and that gives us y is equal to negative 4 minus 4 as the value for y to make that equation balance. Example 7. Three particles of masses 2 kg, 1 kg and m kg are situated at the points minus 1, 3, 2, 9 and 2, minus 1 respectively. Given that the center of mass of the three particles is, the, is, at, is at the point one y bar, there's a couple of unknowns we need to find. Now, the only difference with this question is that the unknown is in a slightly different place. So uh, for part A, we need to find M. And to find M, we're going to use X bar. We know that X bar is one, the center of mass in the X direction. And how do we find that? We take each mass and multiply it by its x position, so 2 times by minus 1, plus 1 times by 2, plus m times by uh, 2, so that's going to be 2m, divided by the sum of the masses, which is going to be 2 plus 1 plus m. So that will give us the equation 2m, because we've got uh, minus 2 plus 2, over 3 plus m, equals 1. That means that 2m is equal to 3 plus m. Take m away from both sides and we'll have m is equal to 3. Okay, let's move on to part b. 
part B, we need to find the value of Y bar. So now we have the value of M. We can substitute that into our equation. So we take each mass and multiply it by its Y position. So two times by three plus one times by nine plus um, M times by negative one. Now M is three. So three times by negative one divided by the sum of the masses, two plus one plus M, which is three. So that will give us the equations 12 over six is equal to Y bar. So that means that Y bar is equal to two. Let me just highlight that. Y bar is equal to two. So you should now be able to do exercise 2B on pages 42 to 43 of the textbook.